Hi Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Um, there may have been a breakup, a separation, or just this person was very unstable uh, in their past. Let's clarify, why is Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Few of you, this person could be coming out of a long-term commitment. They may have children. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to build a solid foundation from for themselves. They may feel they're lacking. Some of you, it has to do with finances. Yeah, they're, they're working on building themselves up. Saving money is what I'm getting. Some of them are saving for their children. Why is Six of Cups here? Why is Six of Cups here? Star in reverse. Eight of Cups Hermit. Yeah, it's someone who's really reminiscing, thinking about their past. Some of you, it's as far back as their childhood, especially if they come from a broken home. There is some healing that they need to do. So they are doing some inner child healing or they need to with Hermit Eight of Cups. If there's been separation between the both of you, uh, Pisces, and you're not communicating, which I am getting, if I look at this person's feelings, they don't seem to be doing much, then they do think about you, right? They miss you. With the Six of Cups. A lot of you, this has to do with you because I see in their actions the star in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have Scorpio, Pisces coming through, Leo. How this person will be viewing you, we have Page of Cups in reverse, Three of Cups upright. I need clarity on this. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Queen of Cups upright. Well, they see you for who you are. Someone who's very sensitive, quite emotional. Someone who is offering your cup of love, offering unconditional love. But there's something about this situation that's unfortunate. There's bad timing here, right? But they feel that you are wanting to reconcile. At least that is how they're viewing you. They have Queen of Cups wanting to come through again. They feel they feel that you have a lot of love for them, but you're not being the most expressive. Some of you, the the reason that you're holding back can be because of another energy, a third party situation, but that won't be for everyone. Why is Three of Cups here for how this person will be viewing Pisces? Page of Pentacles, yeah. There's a friendship here. They feel there is emotions here, but you restrain yourself. You give very little. Right now, you're offering a friendship support. You were very supportive. Scorpio energy. Why is Three of Cups here? Someone here may be dealing with a baby, mama, father, I'm not sure. There's another energy um, that is coming through as a blockage. But there is a lot of love here and they feel it's mutual. I'm seeing all cups for how they're viewing you. So very emotional, sensitive. How this person will be feeling about you, we have judgment in reverse, four of swords upright. Some of you, they have a decision to make when it comes to you and they're contemplating, they're thinking about this quite a bit. I was getting that with the hermit energy as well, right? Going over past events. But they're not doing much here. Why is judgment in reverse? And some of you, if you've released yourself, you've said no second chances, well, they're on a break, right? They're not doing anything.
Some of you may have friends on them. Okay, Pisces, because they were viewing you as the Page of Pentacles, they felt that the situation was one-sided or that you were giving very little, you were breadcrumbing. There was something about the situation that wasn't in balance, which is why they're holding back. Why is Four of Swords here? But there's something, There's they're assessing Ten of Wands, yeah. I don't think this is over, but <laughs> let me get one more. I'm getting a few scenarios here. Yeah, okay. I am getting that some of you, this person has to get their money or something to do with children finances together before they can invest in you. So they felt they had to pick a direction one or the other. They weren't able to give you their undivided attention because they had a lot on their plate. So they may be pushing the situation away, um, keeping you as a friend. They seem to be confused because in their intentions, we have King of Cups in reverse, Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're trying to get themselves together here. King of Cups in reverse is someone who's emotionally unavailable. Are they... There's moodiness here. It's a weird energy because we have the King of Cups in reverse paired with the Knight of Cups. They do have emotion for you. Why is King of Cups in reverse here for this person's intentions? Yeah, they need some time to gather, regather their thoughts, make sense of what they're feeling. Oh yeah, Six of Cups, Devil. But there is a lot of attraction um, they have for you. Some of them could have a drinking issue or some other addiction that they're trying to heal as well. Why is Knight of Cups here for this person's intentions? Leo energy coming through. Why is Knight of Cups here? For this person's intentions, judgment, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're bringing you an offer of love. They're wanting to express emotion to you. But there's something about divine timing or waiting for the right time. Because I see they were on a break with the Four of Swords hanging man. But it can be due to external factors rather than um, anything that's going on between the both of you. Because this person is, yeah, they're wanting to communicate. Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups. They're bringing you a love offer. What action they'll be taking? We have Seven of Pentacles, the star in reverse. Yeah, divine timing, patience is required. But they're, I understand why they're a bit moody here. Because in their actions, they're reflecting. Um, they're standing back and assessing the situation. I saw that in their feelings. And they're it's almost having little to no hope that this will go anywhere. But still wanting to give. But they have a decision to make. Why seven of pentacles here? For what action? this person will take towards Pisces. I'm seeing a lot of reflecting and assessing really throughout this reading. Honestly, I'm seeing more thinking than they are taking action. Yeah, they have a decision to make and they're dragging their feet. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. They're very guarded here as well.
Okay, some of you, uh, Pisces, if this person is in another situation, they're married, they have children, um, they can't leave, they have feelings for you, but the reason they can't leave that situation is because they're concerned about their little ones. They're looking at all the time they've invested in that situation and they don't feel like giving up is what I'm getting. And others of you, if there's no... <laughs> I'm getting a very scattered energy. Wow, Eight of Swords. Those of you, there's no children, family. That situation is out of the picture. I'm seeing someone who's going from extreme optimism um, to extreme despair. So that moodiness is, yeah, I see it in their actions. It's two opposite ends. There, It's almost... Wow, yeah. So one day they feel, yes, we can do this. Um, we can have a happy home. You know, we can build together. And then other days they feel like giving up that this won't go anywhere. So they may have been giving you mixed messages, mixed signals, because they're very uncertain is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, this situation needs more time. For one, they need to be more stable when it comes to how they're feeling about you. They're all over the place. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, unstable. How you're feeling, we have Wheel of Fortune upright, hangman in reverse. You're throwing up your hands. You're taking your hands off the wheel and you're saying, I'm, I'm trusting the universe. I'm not waiting around because hangman in reverse is a card of surrender as well. Right, where you're letting go and you're letting the wheel do its thing. But you are wanting some sort of change here. Why is Wheel of Fortune here? Nine of God. Ooh. Wow. This is actually a very fortunate combination. So there may be something happening here that is making you very happy. It's something you've been manifesting, but it's a destined event that is wish fulfillment to you, so it's something you've been wanting. It can be this person coming to you with that expression of love that makes you very happy. What is this Pis what is this thing that Pisces is very happy about? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. Some of you, by you letting go, wow. Look at that, Ten of Cups. There's something happening here, Pisces, that is making you very happy. And some of you, it can be a proposal, an offer of love, Knight of Cups. But keep in mind, it's a general reading. Yeah, it's a wish come true, a dream come true. And some of you, what I was trying to say is that you releasing yourself from stagnant, toxic situations, letting go of control, is what is bringing in all these blessings. I've not, I rarely see this combination. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's a message coming in. Page of Wands, an exciting offer, exciting news is what I'm seeing for you. There's something to celebrate here. <laughs> it's very exciting. For the short-term outcome between you and this person, we have the world upright, Ten of Swords in reverse, so there's, there is an ending of a chapter here. So a new cycle can begin. And some of you, it will be without this energy. You're releasing yourself and you may be starting with someone new. If you're putting yourself out there, you're dating with that Three of Cups. Um, but I do see healing here, right? I see healing and releasing in your outcome. Why is the world here for Pisces short-term outcome with this person? Hermit, yeah, self-reflection going within. You're growing. You've successfully completed this chapter. Some of you, you are learning to love yourself first. That was a lesson. But it's almost you've learned what you needed to and you're ready for a new beginning. And the universe is supporting you. They have your back with the Wheel of Fortune. 
Page of Swords. Why is Ten of Swords in reverse? Yeah. It's turning your back and you're coming to that realization here with the world hermit. Page of Swords is also when we're seeking some sort of clarity answers, right? And you're coming to that conclusion that you're both not on the same page. Perhaps you don't share a similar vision. There's some differences here. I see two children here. Something about children is coming through. And that may be an issue. Their distance may be why there's delays. I'm getting two scenarios here, Pisces. Some of you, you're done with this energy. There's a new love offer coming towards you, right? It's a new beginning for you in terms of your love life. I see a lot of back and forth flirting messages. You're feeling very lucky, fortunate in life you're just happy you're entering a happier cycle right that is how you're feeling and others of you there's a second chance reconciliation with this past energy that you've been dealing with so listen to your intuition with this one what you don't see coming in your love life we have king of swords the sun again two interpretations some of you what you don't see coming is communication someone giving you the truth clarity you're seeing things clearly is what you don't see coming and others of you i see a happy relationship with a leo a gemini libra aquarius and this union can be very successful this situation this person you're attracting will make you very happy they're someone of integrity they're very confident and they're honest clarify this king of swords for what pisces doesn't see coming yeah, definitely Leo energy. Something about Leo season may be significant here as well. July, August. Why is King of Swords here? Queen of Wands. Yeah, again, we have a Leo fire energy. Yeah, I see you standing in your power and you being very confident. You're standing your ground. And you see things clearly and that is coming through as a blessing. Something you don't see coming is that you're strong enough to deal with whatever upheaval, chaos that comes your way. Why is the sun here? Yeah, wasn't I saying you're getting... <laughs> yeah, you're seeing something that you weren't seeing before with justice in reverse. The blindfold is off. Some of you, there was illusions here, right? Fantasizing, daydream, daydreaming, happily ever after. Sort of la la land and you're coming to reality. You're more grounded here. King of Pentacles was wanting to peek through. You're attracting your happily ever after is what I'm seeing. Sun, Ten of Cups, a wish come true here. Some of you, it can be someone saying that I've made a decision, you're the one I want. This person was coming to you with an offer. And others of you, you're attracting a new love that is very um, emotionally fulfilling here. Someone you may have children with, a family with, pets, right? It's the real deal.
Yeah, we have mistake. The there's blockages here and we have neediness. This person is trying to walk out the door and they're clinging to her, him, whatever, it doesn't matter. But this person feels needy about you. They were missing you. Perhaps at one point you were very vulnerable. You were offering unconditional love. You pulled your energy back with that page of cups. And some of you, you're only dealing with them because you have to. You may be keeping your options open. That's another way that you can interpret those cards, right? That they're seeing you as someone who's closed off and keeping your options open. But King of Cups in reverse can be a needy energy as well. We have infidelity, so there may have been some cheating involved. If this person cheated on you, they made a mistake here and now someone is wanting to walk away they see things clearly and they regret what they've done that's for some of you oh well, let's get this deck I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, they're suspicious of you. There's doubts here. They're having a hard time trusting this connection. King of Cups in reverse. And that could be leading to some moodiness here as well, right? So this can be someone who's this is someone who's taking a step back so they don't make a fool of themselves is what I'm getting here as well. Because dealing with you, you do seem to bring out their more negative emotions here as well. Um, for instance, their possessiveness, their jealousy, and they're trying to, you know, relax here and see things from your perspective is what I'm getting as well. So they don't um, appear crazy. <laughs> We have, I feel butterflies when I'm around you. You're very intimidating. I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it, but they're coming in with the offer. At least they're intending on expressing love to you. Yeah, I'm putting up a facade to the world, but I'm a mess inside. I never appreciated you until you were gone. So some of you did. You released. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. I'm suffering in silence. So this person could be watching you on social media and seeing you move on with your life and that's bringing them a lot of pain and they're wanting to come back in. But they, the pessimism can be that, oh, Pisces won't want me back. They'll turn me down, right? Because I was telling you, they're going from extreme optimism to extreme despair. So that moodiness is real. We have others are vying for my attention, but I only have eyes for you. This heart belongs to you. Yeah, definitely with the Knight of Cups. Those of you, this person was married with children. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups. Careful not to get entangled with an unhappily married person. Don't allow yourself to be second place. I don't see you waiting. And some of you, what is making you very happy is unforeseen love. Which we had for what you don't see coming. A lot of happiness, joy, celebration. You might meet or know someone who you will grow to love turning friendship into a relationship. Some of you have met this person and some of you, you will meet them in the future. Leo season may be significant, summer, July, August. Abusive relationship, wow. 
If you find yourself in an abusive relationship, it's time to put a stop to it. Know you are deserving of real love. Yeah, that's a message for someone. Ooh, some of you may be meeting someone online. You're having fun flirting, getting to know new people. You'll have a decision to make. You'll have choices, options. We have online connection, power couple, and slow and steady. Ooh, so you may be meeting this King of Swords online. And this can be a power couple with the King of Swords and Queen of Wands. You both knowing your worth. You're both very ambitious, independent, two strong-headed people coming together. Wow, wasn't it? Oh my god, this is so exciting. Look at that. New romance and wish come true. I was telling you, you're having a dream come true, a wish come true. I don't make this up. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. The wheel is turning in your favor. You will be ecstatic. You'll be so happy when this person enters. Or some of you, they have entered. We have a new love will find its way to you. There's an opportunity to experience a positive new beginning. Wish come true. Someone someone will possess all the qualities you've ever wanted in a partner a dream come true yes this is very exciting some of you with married with children abusive perhaps you're releasing someone who was emotionally abusive i don't know what they were doing and you're finding someone new here that's more aligned with who you are and where you're headed here what advice do you have for Pisces in regard? What advice do you have for Pisces? Your mirror. Whatever you believe to be true, your lover will mirror back. Get to know what's really going on inside of you and confront your fears. Yeah, some of you, there was someone who was casually um, dating, you were dating. And they're saying, don't settle for less. What advice do you have for Pisces? I knew it. Yours is the best reading so far. Look at that. A new love offer is on the horizon. Keep an open mind. This is crazy. Not all endings are sad. Stay so <laughs> I'm getting so excited I can't even talk. Not all endings are sad. Stay hopeful because you will have your happy ending. Your manifestation is coming much sooner than you think. I think this will be the one. Um, for a lot of you, you're really attracting the person, the one you'll end up with. This person's bringing a lot of happiness, joy your way. You have a lot to look forward to. You've learned a lot. You've come a long way is what I'm seeing. And you'll be attracting someone who's on a similar vibration. It's very exciting. But yes, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Uh, take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.